obviously you guys started out back in in 96 yep. and you were kind of started out as a if you like a traditional um hip-hop band but you've brought in these other influences of bringing in a drummer yep. and bringing in uh you know cheeky as a programmer dude there what why was that you know so important and how much of an impact has that had on the overall sound you got to evolve your sound has to evolve and with us with the drummer and bass player and programmer on stage it just gives it that more crisper clearer sound and a better live element and stage feel like a better live show i reckon that's what we all think yeah i thought that well when i joined i've only been in the band three years nearly three years nearly three years yeah, yeah. It's, big and it's you know it's great great bunch of dudes to play with you know the, the freedom of what we do with our music and everything is great you know if, it, like we get, if I get given something and then get ready to present it live or whatever, what we're going to do, I can muck around with it and everything's all good, you know, it's, it's exciting, you know, it's cool. I think that it's also, um, it gives us a lot more spontaneity um, coming from uh, just having backing tracks. Uh, when, a, when a song finishes, it finishes, stops and that's it. It's, you know, three minutes, 42 seconds and full stop. <laughs> like the thing with having a drummer um, and Cheeky, who programs also plays keys and bass, is that we can spend uh, 20 minutes in the middle of a set um, freestyling and improvising like a jazz band in front of a crowd. Of, you know, um, if we're playing a festival, especially, we can get the crowd involved in it, um, and they could be, they could become the rhythm or whatever in it, and it just becomes something that's really interactive, and it, and it enables us to do a lot more in our live show. <laughs> What I like with most subcultures and everything is a global unity. Like, you might go, we might end up in Germany or Japan hopefully one day and do we do our songs in front of an audience, and they'll like it for what it is and where it's coming from. You know, you don't have to say it necessarily has to be from America. What now nowadays because of the internet and everything else, you can be from anywhere in the world, do your music, do hip hop, and people will accept it. When we released our first CD, I got emails from. Um, Austria, you know, Japan, Scotland, uh, Wales, you know, just all, all across the world, are places that you you wouldn't even imagine that her, but because of the internet and because of the way that the culture works, it's um, people are wondering, wow, what's going to happen if you mix Crocodile Dundee and Cypress Hill? You know what I mean? Like, not that that's what we are, but it's it, people, are, you know, wondering what's going to happen when a, a bunch of Aussies get onto this hip hop thing and start making it. Can you just give us an insight into the level of commitment that's required as a group of people working together to get to where you are right now? Oh, well, I've got to say, you've got to be prepared to play in front of one person to 100 people. If you're willing to do those gigs and do the hard slogs, do the hard yards, then you're going to get fired, you're going to, do, you're going to succeed. If you're willing to do that, it just doesn't happen overnight like they say. You're not going to open to 10,000 pe 10, people on your first gig. You've got to be prepared to play to like an empty crowd, an empty, like, empty house. And if you're willing to do that, you're going to do it. It's, it's, it's commitment. I mean, um, for Shabazz and I, we started the group when we were um, 16 years old at high school and we were called Downside. And we did a talent quest and we really sucked. Like, we sucked hard. Um, but we ended, up, we ended up winning the Encouragement Award or whatever. And um, we just thought, wow, this is pretty interesting. And, and we carried it on. And it took a lot of years and a lot of hard work. You know what that word means? 